right off the top, there has been some breaking news just in the last hour or so um, in a couple of the legal cases involving former President Donald Trump. Um, one of these we've been watching now for a few weeks. He lost a big fraud case against his company a few weeks ago. There were huge financial penalties that he's been ordered to pay in that case. He is going to appeal the judgment. He's going to appeal the ruling in that case. But he, in the meantime, has to put up a bond while he files that appeal. And we've been watching this because the amount of the judgment against him was so huge, the bond he has to put up is huge, roughly a half billion dollars. So his lawyers told the court, as the deadline for filing that bond, for posting that bond approached, his lawyers told the court that they'd been unable to obtain the bond. They said they had reached out to 30 different insurance companies, but nobody would help him post a bond of that size. At that point, it looked like uh, New York's attorney general, who brought this fraud case in the first place, the AG might be about to start seizing Trump's bank accounts and seizing his properties to secure the judgment. Um, but then, you may recall, there was sort of a last-minute reprieve for Trump. A New York appeals court lowered the bond to less than half of what had originally been ordered. They did not explain why they were doing that, but that's what they did. They brought the, the, the bond amount down from nearly $500 million to $175 million. That would be all that Trump would have to put up while he appeals this fraud judgment against him. They also, in addition to reducing the amount that he had to put up, they gave him more time. The deadline was extended, so he would have till later this week to put up that new $175 million bond. Well, as of this last hour, we just got confirmation in court documents that Trump has posted that reduced amount of bond. He secured a $175 million bond through something called Night specialty insurance company in Los Angeles, Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T, Knight Specialty Insurance. That company is part of an insurance group that is chaired by a major Republican donor. Make of that what you will. But that move tonight would appear to mean uh, that the former president has satisfied his financial obligations in that huge fraud case for now, at least until his appeal is heard, and that is not expected to be at least until this fall. So that's one of the two big developments that's just happened this evening. There's another. In, in Trump's other New York State case, which is a criminal case, not a civil case, this is the hush money case that is due to start two weeks from today, the judge in that case has tonight just issued an expanded gag order on Mr. Trump. Last week, this judge issued an order that banned Trump from attacking witnesses or prosecutors or jurors or court staff, as well as their relatives. Um, after that gag order, Trump started publicly attacking um, not only the judge, who actually is and remains sort of fair game for criticism under the gag order, uh, but he also repeatedly went after the judge's daughter, including identifying her by name on social media. Now, the New York district attorney, the prosecutor who has brought this case, asked the judge to expand the gag order to include family members of the judge and family members of the DA, of the prosecutor. Tonight, the judge has done just that. So again, the gag order still doesn't apply to the judge himself or the prosecutor himself, but it does now include their families. Um, in, in expanding the gag order in that way, the judge did not mince words. He said tonight, quote, this pattern of attacking family members of presiding jurists and attorneys assigned to his cases serves no legitimate purpose. It merely injects fear in those assigned or called to participate in the proceedings that not only they, but their family members as well are, quote, fair game for defendants' vitriol. The average observer must now, after hearing defendants' recent attacks, draw the conclusion that if they become involved in these proceedings, even tangentially, they should worry not only for themselves, but for their loved ones as well. Such concerns will undoubtedly interfere with the fair administration of justice and constitutes direct attack on the rule of law itself. Again, that, that case, that criminal case, the first ever criminal case brought against a former president of the United States, it is slated to get underway in a New York courtroom two weeks from today. That's when jury selection will start. The judge tonight making clear that attacks on his family members or family members of the prosecutor will henceforth not be tolerated and will be subject to punishment by the court. Um, 
if they continue. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.